We are live. I don't think anyone's here yet. Oh, well. Hello? Oh, someone is here. Someone's joined. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Get in here, everybody. Come on in. A few others joined. So just making crazy guys back here. Um, We're just waiting for some more people to join. Hold on, I gotta look for when Ben joins so I can add him. Hello, 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 hello. Sideways. Hello, hello. No, You're all sideways to us. Are we sideways to you? I don't know. I think we're the right way. We I might hope. be sideways. Are we sideways? If you can hear us, tell us if we're sideways. Are we sideways? Hi, Seth. Can't wait. Thank you. Are we sideways? Are we sideways? Just tell us if we're Someone, sideways. Someone, please, God, tell us if we're sideways. Just stop. Say, yes, we are sideways. We are sideways. Totally sideways. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay <great>. so, okay. <laughs> Perfect. How's that? That works. We'll have to be very narrow. Now we're less we sideways. Okay. You are sideways. Okay. You're sideways. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Deaf sideways. Okay, wait. Turn it. Okay, now we're not sideways. Okay, we're not we're sideways. We're not sideways. <laughs> we have become your grandparents. Um, Instagram. Okay. There we go. Hold on. Okay. Perfect. I think Ben is joining us. Waiting for Ben's Instagram. Connecting. Hello! Oh, we did it! How did you guys? Oh, there we did it. Hey! Hello, hello, hello! Hello, hello, hello! Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I think we're not doing that. Do you have yep. to? Yep. Okay, one second. We're just adjusting. We've done it. <laughs> it's not fair. You look more professional than okay, I'm the chef here. You're <laughs> You just need to. All right. Here. <laughs> no, we're good. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Han, so I guess you're... So silly. What are we doing? Hi. How's it going? Oh, no. What just happened? There we go. This is our setup. Hello. Awesome. There's Chef Ben and the flesh. Hi. Hey. Hey, Lauren. Hi, good mm -hmm. to see you. Um, you too, man. <laughs> we're going to introduce you now. Yeah, I have a lovely, <laughs> I have a lovely introduction to you. Oh, you perfect. Far awesome. away. You know, I just feel like it's important to get all the facts right, so we're just going to introduce you so everyone, uh, you know, knows how awesome you are. So, oh, that's, look, that's uh, awesome. joining us today, of course, is Chef Ben Robinson, who's accomplished in both land and sea. Uh, he worked under Italian master chefs in Florence and gained an apprenticeship at three Michelin star restaurant, the Fat Duck Delicious, uh, based in the UK. Uh, he's been a head chef on yachts for over 10 years, including the largest sailing yacht in the world. Oh, that's cool. Seth is moving the camera so much. That's good. <laughs> yeah. um, she, was, she was beautiful. He was, he was born in England. He attended boarding school uh, when, you're, when his parents moved to the US. He currently resides in South Florida. I'm kidding. Uh, recently, <laughs> became a certified health coach specializing in weight loss, yeah. cancer, and addiction. Um, and he has been on our favorite television show, cooking delicious-looking meals uh, for people that uh, take vacations on television. Uh, and we've always uh, admired his cooking. And now he's here joining us to teach us uh, in honor of World Chocolate Day, because there's a day for everything. Um, yeah. That chocolate can be good for your brain, which is so cool, because um, I really like chocolate, but I try not to eat too much sugar. So um, that's what we're doing. Seth is chasing Zelda around. <laughs> we put our dog in, our, in the bathroom. <laughs> we put her in the bedroom. Yeah. Um, but um, I, we have all our ingredients. So, so yeah. Um, Let's do it. How do we do this? What do we do? Right. OK, so <laughs> I'll flip it around again. Okay, so I've, I've been a bit through the ringer, and um, I'm not trying to drop anyone in any trouble here, but I, actually, <laughs> I had to come up with this recipe today, so I've, I've now invented a sugar-free, lactose-free, uh, flour-free chocolate cake. And, and, it tastes good. And, and honestly, it tastes way better than it sounds. It's it really is, good, it actually. Like I'll took, vouch for it. It almost sounds like I took all the joy out of it. But <laughs> because I'm so bloody clever, You're I was so able to make it taste good. <laughs> Let's do it. Of course, we have to. <laughs> so we've been messing around. So um, 
right. So what I what, what I always bear in mind when I'm doing a cake or a pastry is there's something called a cult gâteau. Now in French that means quarter cake, and that is half half uh, no, it's quarter sugar, quarter butter, quarter self-rising flour, and quarter egg. Right. Okay. So knowing that, that's where I kind of. That's my root, uh, where my structure is. And then I kind of deviate from there and I've moved into the sugar-free and the gluten-free and all the rest of it. So, <laughs> so you built that and we will now destroy it. <laughs> right, exactly. And it took a little bit, but um, it, it, it's a fun story. So I'm going to start by cracking a couple of eggs into my KitchenAid. Now, we do it right into our mixer. We have a mixer here as well. Perfect. Like, I'm going to keep our food. Okay, so you know that I like, because I'm a European chef, we do everything in grams. It makes it so much easier. And I know that the Americans, they love their cups and all the rest of it and teaspoons. But really, the gram way is a beautiful way to go. We will and, translate. I agree. So I how much, much in grams? How, how many grams? How many grams do you think an, a large egg weighs out of the shell? Out of the shell? Out I'd of say the shell. around 20 grams. 50. One five? Five zero. Oh, wow. There you go. I've been buying like. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just fun to know these little things. So, anyway, <laughs> let's crack. Let's, we're going to get cracking here. Uh, so, here we go. I know how many grams are in an ounce. Uh, 28, right? <laughs> exactly. I know how many are in an eighth. Uh, okay. Here we go. I, I thought you were more into pounds. So. <laughs> no, <not yet. laughs> That's a good one. Did you do two eggs? <laughs> All right, so we've got that. Well, yeah, two eggs, right, honey? Yes. So okay. Two eggs. We've done it. All right, cool. And now um, I'm going to just get a little bowl out here. And so, like all baking, you um, you combine the sugar with the egg, okay? So in this case, we are using monk That's fruit. We're using monk fruit, which is brain healthy. It doesn't spike your glycemic level, which is bad for your brain. Oh, yeah, they have the red version of it. Oh. Where did monk fruit come from all of a sudden? Had you heard of monk fruit? Uh, no, no, I did. And you actually introduced me to that one. <laughs> um, it's good. We've been it before, is, it I, is. I think a few months ago we discovered it as like a sugar replacement because, again, I love sugar. Yeah. And like, I, you know, I, it's really good. Yeah, like, there's a lot of good shit with monk fruit. Yeah. And yeah, I, I think actually I did a taste test with Stevia and it tastes more natural. Um, and it doesn't have that weird fake chemical t taste no. in the back yeah. end. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. So, thank you. No problem. Who knows what a monk fruit looks like? Who knows what they're real? Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> isn't it a big, like, spiky brown fruit? I think that's Jack's fruit, fruit isn't, isn't it? it? I think that's, that's Jack's fruit. Let's look it up. <laughs> Guys, send in your pictures of monk fruit. We want to know all about it. Yeah. Exactly. As far as I know, it's okay, comes so in a little bag. This is this. a monk fruit. This is a monk fruit. It's so weird. Yeah, it's rare. It grows in a bag. Okay, so you're doing... It grows in a bag. Yeah. So I'm going to do 100 grams. And I'm going to do da, 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 one cup, right? So 100 grams is one cup. Yeah. Hold on. I wrote it down. Yeah, one cup. One cup monk fruit. That's it. God, we're going through yeah, this. Monk fruit swept the nation. Yeah. We're going through this bloody monk fruit like it's going out of style. <laughs> <laughs> There's like all sorts of sugary cereal that is not sugary that has monk fruit it's in it. It's true. Monk fruit is a, is a wonderful thing. And I just put it, it all in lovely. the mixer. Okay, so I'm going to tip this into my little mixer. And then, like all pastry, I'm actually going to mix the egg with the sugar. In this case, it's obviously the monk fruit. Here we you go. say that as though that's a thing people know about. I know. I feel like you're like, I obviously. Know. I didn't know that. <laughs> so what you want to do is um, you want to mix it really well. Which and, mix um, it is. It takes on, the egg actually takes on a different form. It becomes slightly lighter and a little bit more translucent. Okay. 
How do you do this? Just stop. Oh, I think on the left side. Oh, there we go. That's beautiful here. There we go. What do you guys got? Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. Good. Looks like too. You guys have the same mixer. It's white and everything. Same color. Chilling it. All right, well done. Okay, so now, and I'm probably going to throw you for a loop on this uh -oh. one, guys. So, so here we go. We've got, okay, so this is my, my butter uh, okay. replacement, which is coconut oil. We have and, that. Um, and if you go to an air, well, in Florida, the, air, the supermarkets are air-conditioned. So they're quite, <laughs> it's a little bit lumpy. So what I do is I throw it into a double boiler right here. And I, because I don't want the lumps in it, so I'm just gonna kind of break it up here. As you can see, it's kind of melting away nicely. Ours is sweated out already. Just, just throw it in the microwave, guys. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> for uh, for thirty seconds, if you want, but okay. If yours and is nice doing... and soft, if yours is nice and soft, it's not a problem. No, it we're smells nice. Yeah. It's pretty soft. We're doing. Once you get it up, it smells here good. Here in California, we got soft coconut. Um, yeah, we, nice. We do a quarter cup. Yeah, okay. A quarter cup on our end, okay, on, nice. our, on our American end. On our imperial All right, end? Perfect. Is that what they call it? The imperial system? That is, America's never going to let go of that. All right, so, <laughs> so I'm just going to get mine nice and thin and melted. I'm going to go okay. with my, my cocoa powder. Um, this is um, unsweetened cocoa powder. Uh, so this is just a really beautiful product, and I screwed up a little bit on my first couple of my first attempt. And what happened when you're dealing with a flourless chocolate cake? The the cocoa powder, it, it's it's a beautiful substitute for the flour. Now now this powder is going to give it more structure. So I had to lose the chips, like the melted chocolate, because it was. It was just very, it became very flaccid. It turned into like a, like, a, like a balloon in the oven. I was like, wow, this looks great. And then it shriveled up into like something really, really strange looking. So I can that, that made me come to the powder, right? So um, we're going to do, sure. we're gonna do 50 grams, and in your case, a third of a cup of cocoa. Yeah. That a third, is of, a a cup. third of a cup. Which we have. Ready to go. Yeah. Oh, no. um, while we're scooping this, I just wanted yeah. to add that today's cooking lesson is sponsored by Home Instead Senior Care. Home yes. Instead uh, you, <laughs> is matching donations uh, during HFC's We Care campaign up to $25,000. So you can see oh, you can wow. donate <laughs> while watching this Instagram Live. Uh, and of course, donations go towards. Uh, home care for people who need it most and toward research for brain health. Um, so uh, thank you to Home and Step for sponsoring today and thank you to everyone for donating if you can. Thank you. Okay. Back back. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my 50 grams or a third of a cup of cocoa into my mixer. So it's going to join the egg and the monk fruit. Okay. Yeah. And then we mix it? Yeah, and then I'm going to turn my mixer on. I usually go slow in the beginning, especially with powder, because it would puff up, it'll like puff up, go all over your apartment. So you just kind of slow it, slowly introduce it to a bit of there. Do that. How much harder okay. is it to... Okay, that's, that's fine. It's very dry. As you can see, it's very dry because you're it dealing with all these... Yeah, you're dealing with all these powders, but mine became chocolatey at least, right? Yeah. Now, Can I mix it? Let me mix. I'm going to mix ours a little bit. <laughs> That's fine. Here we go. It's becoming chocolatey. It's almost there. Good, 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 good. Okay. It's good. Okay. Chocolate. So. 
I know that this was going to be sugar free and it, and it still is, but I wanted a tiny bit of natural sweetness because you can only imagine how bitter unsweetened chocolate is, right? So I, I decided to go with a little bit of beet powder and beet powder or, and beets are really, really good for you guys. Um, it, uh, it, uh, it improves circulation, which obviously gives the brain more oxygen and blood flow. And it's really, really great for older people and brain health. So I wanted the depth of the beet, the beet flavor, beautiful depth. Also a slight, obviously, red tinge, but um, a little yeah. natural sweetness. Remember you ate them or you will be in for a scare the next day. Does the same thing happen with the powder? Yeah. And all I know about beet powder is Zach Efron would eat a lot of it and he's the healthiest person I've ever met in my entire life. So I would assume it's very good for you. It is. It's really good. Beets are amazing. And I think this beautiful color, like redness, all these wonderful colors we see in fruit and vegetables, it's a real implication of its high antioxidant levels. Oh. So I'm going to go with 25 grams of bee powder. Mm -hmm. Which translates into? Into two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of bee powder. Two tablespoons. And we're putting it right yep. in, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Literally, it was two heaped. Two of these heaped. And you're going to, they're going to just put it right into the mixing bowl? Yeah. And then um, throw that into your mixer. Okay. And then just again, just on a sl on a low on a low spin, just number one, and then and then I just kind of introduce it, and then I'll I'll give it a blast as well. Okay. And you get all the chocolate from the interior of the whisk. It's really powdering up the beef powder. It smokes. I know people that dye their dogs pink with beet beet juice. Like poodles. Really? It's a safe way of dying your white dog, I think. <laughs> ours is looking cakey. This is ours so far. Let's see. All right. It's it's good, guys. It, it's going to be great. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> so now, so now We're gonna, I don't know. We'll a put our no one will ever know. <laughs> guys, I'm just going to pop in quickly a teaspoon of this wonderful Madagascar vanilla extract. Ooh. That's some vanilla. A teaspoon, you said? And that's going to build on the flavor profiles. I've never been to Madagascar, but I picture just an island 100% comprised of vanilla beans. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine. That's, that's all I know is going there, is it? All right, so we're doing that. I'm going to give it a quick whiz again. Boom. Do it again. Oh, well Mix it up. Got it. Hold on. I feel like I need to like get my stuff off the sides a little. 50 because 100 okay. is too much. Okay. I think we're doing good. All right. Good. Now I'm gonna put in my um my coconut oil like that and give it a quick whisk. Um, uh, oil? Yeah, the coconut oil set. Nice. And you can see it didn't really loosen up the batter. If anything, it made it slightly more stodgy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right? Okay, so that's yeah. fine. Good. We're on the same page. That's good. That's supposed to happen. Now, get a good pinch of salt. I use sea salt. Um, you can also get, I like Morton salt, but also pink Himalayan salt. It's really good. Um, it's a great natural source of iodine. Um, and a lot of females particularly uh, have iodine uh, deficiencies. I recommend use proper salt with iodine, not iodized. And um, also seaweed. Those, do you like those nori snacks? Yeah. Like nori snacks? Of course. So good. Yeah, I can eat a whole palate of them. And, and that's a really good uh, way to get your iodine as well. So there are these secret little ingredients that have that. And if you don't uh, have enough iodine, you will get a goiter. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and you don't want a goiter. <laughs> pinch, so pinch of salt, guys. Just a, a good pinch. You don't have a to be too pinch. crazy technical with that. Is that a good pinch? That's a good pinch. <laughs> Whoa, more. I did two small pinches. Good. And that's just um, to build on the flavor profiles. 
again. So you're going to have a slight salt aspect that's going to kind right. of bring out the other flavors. Salty sweet. Right. It feels like no one <laughs> even ate the beer stuff. So, so, so what you have in your mixing bowl was round, was round two for me today. Okay. So I put it in the oven like this, and um, and it didn't move. Uh, it, it didn't become liquid. It was it was more like a truffle. Um, and I and I thought, oh God, Seth and Lauren are going to be very pissed off if uh, oh, I would they be have to make this. Curious. <laughs> they have to make this bollocks. So we have decided at that point to add fifty grams of water, right? Yeah. To the, we add with the coconut oil to the, all the people in the comments who are worried. Don't worry, we put in the coconut oil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got some people fanatics. People are fucking like, losing it over here. <laughs> it's in. It's fine. We put it in. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you can relax. You can. <laughs> Take a breather. I know, I know. The suspense must be killing them. We appreciate We put in the oil. <laughs> they always say that. Check on the pizza, man. You're going to burn the pizza. <laughs> And at one time they were right though. I, I exactly. Yeah, it was charcoal. <laughs> okay. So guys, one and a half cups of water. Okay. Um, which is fifty grams for me. Which, and, I yeah. pre measured yeah. this, so fifty grams is fifty mils. And believe it or not, one millimeter cubed of water weighs one gram. So I, that's why I love the metric. It's, it's a good system of measurement. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay, so 50 on the dog here. And this is just gonna loosen it up. Put it all in. Um, if, if, someone's, if someone's out there is feeling more inventive, you could get a, a wonderful berry juice or a, or a nice like low sugar juice. Uh, you could be really cheeky and, um, and put like some rum in there or some instant or some coffee or something like that. So. They like the rum idea, I think. Right. Well, that is cheeky. Well, that's not brain health, though. But like, <laughs> but uh, yeah, brain so, uh, cut loose a bit. I was a bit boring, and I put in water. We put, put in, in water. water. Do we mix it up? <laughs> the most boring of all liquids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there you go, man. And uh, and the reason we had to really loosen this up, Seth and Lauren, was because yeah. we have all of these powders, right? So you can only imagine how sort of dense it was going to be. So you know, water's fine. It'll just, it'll actually bring out the flavors of the beets and uh, dilute the cocoa a bit. So it, it's, it, it's good. And, it, and you're going to get that cake quality as well. Well, the, wa the water will turn the beet powder just into beets, I would uh, assume, right? Do I mix it up? And then we mix it. <laughs> I think ours is too watery. Does ours look watery? Ours you can put it really too much water. watery. I feel like it's too much water. No, it just needs to mix up. Get it in there. Keep going. Okay. Ours is really watery. <laughs> Did we put in too much water? Oh, oh. oh, oh, oh I splashed all over, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can see her. Are they making a mess? Hey, nice, nice. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Just doing a little cleanup over here. Okay, let me do it. I'll let Laura do it. <laughs> Beat comes out, right? No. <laughs> all right, and at this point, you just want to make sure we've included all of our ingredients. I'm going to run through. We've added the eggs. We've added the cocoa powder. We've added the coconut oil. We've added the monk fruit powder, the beet powder, the vanilla, the water, and a pinch of salt. Yep. Pretty cool. All right, good. That's a simple recipe. We barely added too much water. Yeah. Was that more than a couple and a half? That was a cup and a half. That was a cup and a half of water. Is that the amount of water it's supposed to be? It's very liquidy. Maybe because of Yeah, but if you, if, have you stirred it properly, though, guys? It just needs to be stirred more. Okay. Is that the idea? I'm hoping so. <laughs> 50, 50 mils was a cup and a half. That seems like a lot, though. Wait, is that 1.5 cups? Yeah, that's what it said on the, um, the thing that I was on. Okay. Is it thicker or is it still very watery? It's <laughs> pretty watery. 
Watch, but, see how it is. Let's see it. Is yours watery? Mine's not really. It's like, you know, it's... It's like cake batter. It's like cake batter. I think ours had too much water. Maybe we put too much water in ours. <laughs> Was it really supposed to be a cup and a half of water? It says 1.5 cups on, on my list here. Can you look at your phone, babe, please? Well, we'll figure that out. Maybe it's just all gooped to the bottom and our thing isn't working that well. It's getting a little thicker. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We're, we're, we're getting there. It does say, guys, I, I mean, I'm the first one to admit a mistake, but you did convert it as 1.5 cups of water, which, by the way, sounds like a lot to me. Now I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you guys meant to, maybe it was supposed to be one fifth, not one. Maybe you're supposed to be point five cups of, or what, or point oh, point. <laughs> <laughs> no, it definitely says one point five cups of water. Fifty, 50 grams, grams of, of water, water is one fifth of. I think maybe we were supposed to do one fifth of a cup of water. One fifth of a cup of water, not one point five cups of water. <laughs> That's where we went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now guys, I think. That you might, be in, you might be in luck because if you cook it for long enough, the water will evaporate. Hold on, something's. Hold on, say it again. That you you broke up when you said what you said. If you cook, the water will probably evaporate, won't it? Eventually. Oh, okay. So it should be okay. Okay. <laughs> I think it's going to be fine, but yeah. Perfect. Just water. <laughs> okay, listen. So someone's written in. It was meant to be 0 0.5. And that makes sense to me, guys. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Sorry it's okay. about that. I would expect nothing less from us. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, man. It's going perfect. <laughs> just, throw in some more, <laughs> just throw in some more powders, guys. Yeah. <laughs> We could just add more powders to compensate. Should we add more powders? Yeah, I would do more powders, and then it, once again. Yeah, but you, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It involves math. It'll evaporate. I'm going with his it'll evaporate theory. We shall see. Yeah. Okay. Then what? You could, yeah, you could, you could actually, you'd have to at this point triple the ingredients so add yeah. two you would have to add two lots right. of, like you'd have to double each ingredient now and then add it would you do you we try it? add or do you want to do it later we, we'll do it later we'll do it later <laughs> <It's the only laughs> yeah <way>. you keep going <laughs> Okay, all right, here, honey. Here. We weren't going to cook ours right now anyway. Keep going. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay. All right, guys, so. That's exactly how ours looks. So for experimental purposes, these miniature muffin tins, I really like them because you can do, like, dessert trios with them. And when you're when you have to invent a recipe in an hour and a half, and it requires yeah, that's what it they really come in handy. So I'm going to pop these in the oven. I've lightly greased them with coconut oil. Perfect. Wait, sorry, that was my question. Wait, you greased the pan with coconut oil? Is that what you used? Yep. Cool. Yep. Yep. Okay. Here we go. We didn't grease our pan. This is going to be really good. Ours is going to be so good. They look like. <laughs> You might get lucky, you never know. You never know! What are we going to find out? Maybe well, that it's with three times the correct amount of water. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Alexa, set a timer for ten minutes. <laughs> Perfect. I'm really sorry. Oh my god, wait. The, we're in my dad's house right now. His Alexa, I think, just heard you. You did. <laughs> Are you actually going to bake it now? Uh, yeah, I just put it It'll oh. take 10 minutes. If that, I mean, it's... it's Amazing. Yeah. yeah, okay, good. What did you guys do? Just curious. Well, then you're breaking up a little. We didn't hear what you said. What did we do? You put yours in the oven. No, should we? Yeah. Well, our oven isn't heated. If I were you, if I were you, I'd crack four more eggs in there. We'll do that. We do it right now. 
I'm going wait, to do wait, it. Wait, pour that back in the bowl. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> or start again. No way. Oh, no, we're going to make it work. There's yeah, no okay. you guys make it work. All right, so you have to, at this point, you have to put four eggs in there. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it, Ben. All right, let's do this. Four okay. eggs. It has to happen. Four more eggs. Let's what? do this. Let's, let's work with what we have. I'm, I feel good about this. This is the strength of a true chef, is can you fix something that you've destroyed exactly. on a live social media app? It's, it's... Uh, three. Right. Just got a really special guest in. Is that how we Guys, just so we're going to... Uh, we're going to... Okay. 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 Oh, we're starting with a... Through all the ingredients. We can get this right, okay? So, and then we got to do four times the monk fruit. No, 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 no. Okay, no, it's it's double. It's it's double the monk fruit. It's double. Okay, so it's now you're doing. <laughs> I think we have enough. You need to do. Wait, wait, just put it all in. We're just, I'm just gonna pour in what we have left. Okay. <laughs> two thirds, two thirds of a cup of cocoa. It'll work. You're I just gonna need. In what we have you're left. gonna need two more cups of monk fruit. Okay. So pretend we have that. <laughs> that was around that, I think. No. Okay, it's fine. Well, then, then, then you can do more. If you don't have that, you can put more beet powder in. So you're not. No, no, we do have a lot more beet powder. All right. So, so put in, put in six. Well, why don't you go ahead and put six tablespoons of beet powder in? Yeah. Like that we can do. You're good okay. at math, dude. Okay. If you're just joining us, we're fixing the recipe that me and Lauren uh, did wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and then uh, you're going to put in two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, perfect. Yeah. This shows how fast and easy this recipe is, because you can do it in around 45 seconds if you just try to make up for the fact that you fuck it up the first time. So that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and, six. And, then, and we did the vanilla. Did you do the extra vanilla? Yeah, I just did. Oh, you did? Uh huh. Okay. And then put yeah. put a couple of pinch. Yeah. What? Couple pinch. Salt. More pinches of salt. And then give it a mix, and let's see where we are. If it if it's gonna be if it's still too wet, just add a little more beet slowly, slowly, and just find batter consistency. It'll, Did it's gonna promise. Do, do we add extra cocoa powder? We probably should. Yeah. Um, oh, I thought you guys did that already. Um, you're gonna need two thirds of a cup of cocoa. That's good. Yeah. yeah, you know, you know how you eyeball baking. You know how baking like... is like super imprecise. And you just got to... <laughs> to go along. So you put, um, Thirds of a cup of cocoa more in there, Seth? Yeah. Oh, you did? Cool, cool. Ooh, this looks good. Does it's it? It looks like something. Yeah. Much more battery. Well, add a little more beet into it. A little more beet? If it's wet, if it's too runny. I'm going to grease our pan here. Unless you like it. Beet. I think it looks good. All right, well then. Then don't do it. It's all good. Very red. All right. Beautiful. Kind of a fun wonderful. It's, so it's like a it's red velvet. Like okay. batter. This is batter. I this love is it. Much batter. Get it? Not batter meaning batter, but batter meaning good. Um, now, did you um also, guys, I left out, did you put in another half cup of, uh, of coconut oil? Oh, no, we didn't. Of course not. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's see. Okay, we're going to melt it. Should we melt it? That part's not. The first bunch was melted. Should we melt it? Probably. Do we need to melt it? Do we need to melt it? Do we need to melt it? If it's soft and not lumpy, then it'll be it's okay. Pretty, so oh, it's soft? Uh, Soft. Okay, Ooh. good. All right, well then now just put a, do a half cup of that and throw it's it in there. It's kind of the consistency of grits. It's grit. It's literally gritty. Uh, okay. It's lumpy. 
Is it lumpy? Not anymore. Not anymore, he said. Give it a good buzz all the way up. Whatever. Yeah, so you guys can probably turn it all the way up. This looks good. Yeah, woo! And it smells good. Taste it, guys. Taste it. Always, always taste as well. Like, it'll tell you a lot, even in raw form. Mm, it tastes delicious. Mm, it really does. It's like really good. All right. Okay, so over here in um, Chef Ben land, we have, um, we have our little uh, cakes. Ooh, those look nice. They need a little more. You can see that, guys, it, it actually, there's a little indentation oh, wow. there. And it's a little bit soft in there. I can tell that this is slightly underdone in the middle. Mm, so, that looks good. A little more time. Okay, we're doing ours now. Sorry, wait. What I I started my oven. What exactly do I heat it to? <laughs> Three fifty. Three fifty, guys. Okay, great. That's what I meant. Standard oven temperature. This is about pretty. If you don't fuck it up like us, this is a pretty easy recipe to make some healthy, delicious treats. <laughs> It is. This wouldn't be any fun, though, if it went perfectly. It's a little more interesting this way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, someone, exactly. someone had to screw it up, and I'm just so glad. You feel I like you've out. accomplished more when you overcome something. <laughs> <laughs> um, for anyone just joining us, I will just take a quick break again to say uh, thank you to Home Instead, our sponsors, for today's cooking lesson. Uh, uh, Home Instead is our partner in our care grant program in which we provide care for people who are caring for their loved ones with Alzheimer's. Um, a $25 donation, by the way, pays for one hour of care. So, you know, we get money to make these days. It's crazy times. But if you can support us, your money will go towards helping people uh, get care for their homes and also towards uh, research for things like brain health, um, which is really important. So, okay, back from the word from our sponsors. Back to you. <laughs> Love it. All righty, so... Um, um, so obviously, a lot of these ingredients that we're using, guys, are just joined. Um, we're uh, we're actually making flourless, dairy-free, sugar-free chocolate cake, which sounds flourless, dairy-free, sugar-free chocolate cake. Yeah, which basically sounds like a dessert they would serve in hell, but um, <laughs> we're California. Yeah, yeah, same thing, right? So, uh, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that means a lot coming from a guy in Florida. <laughs> good death, good death. We're really, we're really responsible over here. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Okie dokes, guys. So if you just joined, we're making um, a hellish chocolate cake. Uh, we've and then quite fresh. Go over it. Cocoa, especially this high quality cocoa, has a lot of antioxidants. Antioxidants are great for brain. Cocoa powder, beets, so coconut oil, so vanilla, uh, monk eggs, fruit. monk fruit. I'll give a billion dollars to anyone who can tell me what the fuck a monk fruit actually is, what it yeah. looks like, where it comes from. Does it come from a tree? Does it come from a plant? Is it in the ground? <laughs> What is the monk fruit? Who knows? I, know. <laughs> I would love to know. That's what we're doing when we get up. Yep. <laughs> what, the second I'm off this, beet powder? Beet powder is all the rage, guys. It, it's really good for your circulation. It obviously br it drives oxygen to the brain, which uh, is great for brain. And again, Zac Efron would eat it all the time, and he's the healthiest human on the planet. So if that's not an endorsement, that's I don't know what is. Is that yeah, his abs are pretty insane. Oh, that's just stop. Yes, they are. <laughs> I think I think that's our Alexa timer. Alexa, stop. <laughs> it's been ten minutes. That was our timer that you said. All righty, Chappy Waps. Um, and then this is wonderful coconut oil. It has a really good flavor behind it, and it's just a, a better alternative to to butter. So uh, yeah. just a clean, clean um, oil system, and it's really good for baking. 
Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I still need coconut oil. So, guys, here are my miniature chocolate cakes. Oh, my God. These you are really fun. It. So, I'll show you how small they are. That's my thumb there. They're so little. They're so great. I yeah, know. they're so cute. So cute. Are you going to pull one out and cut it open and show us how nice it looks? Yeah, yeah. I could do that. <laughs> I could do anything. So, right here. Mufi, Mufi wants some. Oh, okay, so, so, so guys, here's the trick. The great thing about um, this batter is it doesn't have raw flour in it. It doesn't have any of that bad stuff. So it's really good in this form right now. So I'm going to actually use a little bit of this raw and then just kind of put a little yeah. smear. Fancy. I know. A smear. A smear. That was a good idea. And then... A smear. It's a below deck shit right yeah, there. Exactly. Yeah, I would smear. never dare smear. It's a smear. <laughs> All right. So then we do... What do you think? Here? Is that good or down there? Uh, I think yeah, down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right in the middle? Where do I put it? I think you should put it right I there. I put it two-thirds of the way through the smear, maybe. Yeah. There you <laughs> <we> go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna yeah. do three. Yeah. So guys, presentation, threes. The eye doesn't like a lot of symmetry the whole time, so odd numbers really work for presentation. There we go. Don't be over symmetrical. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then, so that's my third there. Oh, wow. And now, do you still have this? That was that. quite funny when I gave you the knife. You didn't know what to do at the party, remember, Seth? I was like, yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, you put it on, you were like, okay, I look like a murderer right now. Mum Fruit is a board from China and Thailand. Hey, that's, really that's my mom. That's my mom just answered the Mum Fruit question. Thank you, mom. So guys, we have, we have berries, uh, high nice. in antioxidant. Good for we brain health. Oh, yeah, we have berries. Well, ours is still cooking, though. All right. Okay, so we're going to do that. This is going to be some garnish here. And then I'm going to get some walnuts. Again, very high in, um, well, they're good. In, this has omega-3 fatty acids, which is very good for brain health. Here we go. Let's give it a bit of a choppy chop chop. Choppy chop chop. Yeah. Looks good, looks good. Chop, 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 chop. I can't eat the chocolate that. I can't talk I played a chef in a movie once and learned some very rudimentary things. <laughs> Did you? That's so cool. Which is all I need. <laughs> hey, I just saw the trailer of your new movie. Congratulations. That is incredible. I love your accent, bro. Thank you. It's that is legit. Bro. That is legit. I only, I, I, it's, I only make food-based films now. Sausage party, pickle. <laughs> I love sausage party. That was amazing. Yeah, really it's my calling. <laughs> All right, a bit of this, a bit of brain health, just directly straight on. Wow. Wow. Fancy. All right, cool. Let's get to it. What kind of what kind of accent does he have? In the movie? Okay, so, um, In English. Hmm. Um. Here we go. Okay, so. And now, guys, I'm going to just kind of work the plate a little bit here. Oh, wow. Bit of that, you know. You're good. Bit of berry good. action there. Bit of this, bit of that, you know. Have a Jeffrey. <laughs> Have a Jeffrey. <laughs> I know, it really does. Look fancy. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, that shit looks fancy as fuck. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, there you go. I made a little boo boo. And then we're going to just get him off there. Oh. And <laughs> now, I'm going to do a bit of, I'm going to get a little bit of coke. I'm going to get a little bit of cocoa powder here. Oh. And I'm just going to dust one side of the plate. Like a this. dusting. Look at that. I'm going to give it a oh bloody good God. dusting. <laughs> Thank God ours isn't done because we can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Is that the first product? It's amazing. Bravo. Yeah. Well, Cheers, everyone. Yes. 
We get it in the light. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's get it in the light. Put it on. Oh. 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 What was that? Oh, it's. Oh yeah. Wow, it really does look fancy. Yeah. You wouldn't know that it, you know, is a healthy dessert. Does it taste healthy? Doesn't seem like it. It doesn't. Monster. We had some earlier. It was really good. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it back to the galley and uh, we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> it's very duck. We had it earlier. It was so decadent. <laughs> Ours is almost done. All right, so I really think that the um, the berries are going to be lovely because um, it, let's face it, it's it's there's a lot of heavy flavors and some slight bitterness going on. So the sweetness of the berries much needed. It's going to really clean the palate throughout. So nice. Far. And then the walnuts are really cool because it's going to give you that crunch factor. So um, I actually call that a flavor profile. But um, I'm I'm pretty ridiculous. So. Whatever. Anyway, okay, here we go. Eat it, eat it. Eat it, eat it. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I have to say, ours is smelling incredible. It does smell it good. It really smells amazing. amazing. Because it won't be done, I, I will, we'll post photos we'll post of photos, what our yeah. finished mm. food like looks something. like on our on our Instagram accounts. That's fine. <laughs> And yeah. I'm gonna take three hours to make it look the way that you make yours look. Um, that's hey, hey, Seth, say hi to the cutest Nihilist. Donate money if you do it. Wait, what? Say hi to the cutest Nihilist. Hi. Hi, cutest Nihilist. Hi, cutest Nihilist. Nihilist. <laughs> okay, so now you have to donate. Nihilist. <laughs> 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 um, All right, guys. Well. And yes, you can put weed in this if you want and you're making it at home. It's so um, fun. I really but, am uh, fun. It really so is. Much. Listen, I want to hear, like, honestly, I'd really love to hear your, you know, your, I'd like to get some feedback if you, if you like it. But um, yes, that's, that's really for you guys. Like that was Thank a present. Thank you so much. Um, well, for sure. We're going to post the recipe. I'll post the recipe as well on my Instagram and tell everyone how to make this and make sure they know that you invented this wonderful, wonderful thing. So your name is attached to it, whether it's good or bad at this point. So <laughs> then- I'm fine with that. I'm going to stand by it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll Thank take you. care. Thank Happy you so much. Day. Thank you to everyone who joined us here today. Thank you. We appreciate uh, it. Again, we know everyone's in hard times, but if anyone uh, can donate to HFC, we would certainly put your money to good use to help people. Yes. Um, and thank you again to Home and Set Senior Care, our sponsors for today. And most importantly, Thank you to Chef Ben. Thank you, Ben. Uh, you're so awesome. We appreciate Good. you playing along with us. Yes. Uh, and cannot wait to eat our delicious recipe. Well, thank we you, guys. It. Keep entertaining. Bye. And, uh, thank and you. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Thank Take you care, all. guys. Cheers. I, this. Don't I won't touch any of Bye. Bye.